Hey there, Nick Phillips with Keller Williams Real Estate here in Reno, Carson City, Nevada. Today I'm going to be talking about five ways to improve your chances of getting a home in a very competitive market. So what am I talking about? What's a competitive market? I'm talking about a market like one in Reno, Nevada that we're in right now where there's low inventory and a lot of buyers competing against each other. Um, we're, we're experiencing this in most parts of the United States, um, but particularly in the western states. Uh, we just don't have inventory. There's just not a lot of homes on the market right now. And with low interest rates, buyers are just beating each other up. So number one, you have to have a pre-approval letter ready to go. What's a pre-approval? Well, that's when you've talked to a mortgage lender and they've looked at your finances and your income and they basically said you're approved for $400,000 or whatever the number may be. And they're going to send you that letter now there are a couple benefits to having your pre-approval letter ready before you start your home search and i always recommend you do that before you start your home search number one you're going to know how much you can actually afford you don't want to waste your time or your agent's time or the homeowner's time looking at homes that you can't afford number two sellers will take your offer much more seriously if you were a seller and somebody said i want to buy your house here's our offer but we have no way to prove that if we take your home off the market for 30 days, we're going to actually be able to close. So sellers will take your offer more seriously. Number three, you can actually make an offer on a home that you want immediately. Um, you know, you're not going to find your home, find a home that you like, and then go to your lender and it takes, you know, two weeks to get your pre-approval issued. In that time, three other buyers with actual pre-approval letters or cash, which we're seeing a lot, uh, making good offers on that property, you're going to lose out. And uh, number four, if there are any errors on your credit report, you can actually go ahead and take care of those immediately. So number the, the number one step that I have for today is to have a pre-approval letter ready to go. Okay, number two, you're going to want to interview a couple of agents. And this is really important because in a competitive market, you want to be working with an agent who's going to get the job done. Okay, so um, does are you? What I would recommend is asking the agent a lot of questions. Okay, and if they're able to answer them in a way that makes sense to you, then that's a good sign. Um, number two, I think this is really important. Feel out their energy. Do they seem enthusiastic? Do they seem passionate about what they're doing? Uh, because if you're working with an agent who's kind of just there to go through the um, steps, that's not going to be the kind of agent that's going to get the job done in a really competitive market, okay? Um, here's another thing to look out for. When you're interviewing these agents, are they asking you a lot of questions? If the agent's asking you a lot of questions, that shows that they are trying to understand your situation so that they can kind of put together their process and their plan to get the job done for you. So make sure you pick an agent who seems like they're passionate, they have energy, they're asking you questions, and you guys are communicating in a way that you both like, okay? All right, the third thing to do is to pick the agent and make a plan, okay? So, you know, you have your schedule, the agent has their schedule. Make sure you communicate with each other about how he's gonna show you homes and when you're available and stuff like that. Just basically make a plan so that you guys know how the process is gonna work out. Um, and then obviously, you know, when you're making the plan, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you understand the whole buying process, okay? That's really important. All right, number four. This one's really important. Be flexible when you're submitting an offer, okay? Um, ask this, have your agent ask the seller's agent, when we submit this offer, is there anything that can make your seller's moving process easier? Ask them their closing date. What's the best closing date? Maybe they want to stay in their home for two weeks after they close because they want to move stuff out. Maybe the three other buyers that have submitted their offer aren't willing to do that. And if you're offering less, that might be more powerful and valuable to the sellers and they might accept your offer. So make sure that you ask your agent to ask the seller agent, how can we make this offer work for you? Okay, so be creative and be flexible when submitting an offer. Um, and the fifth thing that I'm going to recommend to you today, if there are no homes on the market, there's no inventory, 
your agent needs to be reaching out to homeowners in that area telling them that they have a buyer that's ready to buy right now ask them if they're thinking about selling their home um, if your agent isn't willing to do that are they really doing enough to earn your business okay i do that regularly so i come across people who will be putting their home on the market and I know about it before it's on the mls before all those other buyers are you know, submitting their offers. So I hope this was helpful. I'm Nick Keller Williams Real Estate here in Reno, Carson City, basically all of Northern Nevada. I hope this helped. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.